There is one thing on the agenda in today's video that I want to sort out as well, and that is the absolutely terrible cable management under this desk. There are cables dangling everywhere, like, oh, it's just an absolute mess. Uh, I'm, I'm joking, of course. I've redone all of it, guys. This is without a doubt the best my cable management has ever been in the history of all the setups I've ever done. The way everything in the setup is actually powered begins over there at the wall. So we have, I think, a six meter power extension cord plugged into the wall. And that power extension cord goes through some cable trunking. It's all very nicely hidden. You would never know that there's cable management even going on here. It's, it's that stealthy. There's no cables in sight. So that one, it basically just terminates here. We have the four socket power strip here that is actually plugged in over, over there at the wall. Where I've gone wrong here is I've plugged a power extension cord right here into this power extension cord. That is what we're gonna be changing today. I'm gonna remove this six socket one that is plugged into this power extension cord and instead just have this directly underneath the table, all hidden, no need for the cable tidy box then as we have one less power extension cord in general. I will still have this four socket smart Apple HomeKit power extension cord plugged into this power extension cord alongside the PC and my RAV power USB charger over there as well. So only three devices, well, yeah, only three devices will actually be plugged into this thing, leaving one spare socket for anything else I might need in the future. Now I gotta say I've made some significant improvements to the organization of every device in this setup right here. Everything is so much cleaner, so much more tidy. I actually have way too much excess cable from this power cord at the moment. So I need to go ahead and fix that problem first. But right now, let me show you how everything would plug in together. There we go, the setup is back online. We have one less power cord, amazing. All right, the swap is complete. As you can see, that honestly took like one minute to do. We have the old power cord here. Everything was very easy to swap out. Only issue now is we have probably like maybe two meters worth of cable or at least one meter of cable just in excess. So we need to fix that. How we're gonna do that is actually pretty straightforward. All I have to do now is just pull on the other side right here. Just like that, I've actually pulled a bit too much, but that's okay. We can pull back whatever we need. And that is it. No more excess cable under the table. Instead, that actually rhymed, uh, instead we have all of the excess cable right by this cable tidy box, which is now living up to its purpose even better. So we can hide all of the excess cable that we don't need straight inside of the box. Just like that, everything is super tidy over here and super tidy over on the other side. Damn. Pretty happy with that result right here. If we go ahead and take a look around the back of the setup here, let me show you how the monitors are all cable managed and how all the wires work here. So round back, we have a DisplayPort cable that plugs into my GPU. And then we have a three pin power cable that of course gives the monitor power. These two cables run through this cable clip right here which can open up just like that. The reason I attached that cable clip there is to prevent the cables from dangling beneath the monitor. Alternatively, you could technically maybe route both of these cables over your monitor arm or your monitor stand and then have them be routed through to the middle monitor. If you have a triple monitor setup, of course, then they go down through the middle monitor, which in this case, this Razer Raptor monitor has a very uh, <laughs> wide stand. So it's actually kind of nice because you can hide a ton of cables round back without anything being shown. And it kind of results in a very clean look. As you can probably see, we have the same thing going on for the other MSI monitor, just two cables routed through here and then down the middle of the Razer monitor. The Razer monitor has way more cables plugged into it. We have a USB type C cable from the monitor to the PC, power cable, as well as a HDMI cable from the monitor and then there's a third or a fourth cable i guess to the lemetric smart clock however that smart clock it could actually be plugged into the monitor which might be a better idea instead of actually plugged that smart clock into the usb smart plug beneath my table i actually have a uh, control over it via siri for example or apple HomeKit. so i could say something like hey siri turn off usb that is currently what it's called and 
as you can see, it turned off. You could plug any USB device into that thing and then have power control via your voice over a USB device, which is kind of cool. Whilst that thing powers back on, let me show you what is going on around the back of the PC. So the motherboard I have has this uh, Wi-Fi antenna that I've actually kind of like attached to the back of my PC case. The cable for the antenna is actually kind of like attached to the case. As for all of the other cables here, we have two display ports and one HDMI for all three of the monitors. And then we have the back of the motherboard here with the Wi-Fi antenna cables at the very top. We have six USB devices and that is it. All of these cables are routed together with some Velcro cable ties and stuff like that. And they just go down to the bottom of the desk. All right, so we are beneath where the PC is right now, underneath the table. And as you can see, we have a bunch of cables here. These are all just USB cables going into this J-channel cable trunking kit right here. Three of the USB devices go straight to the hole that is drilled at the bottom of my desk and they go to my keyboard as well as the Elgato Stream Deck. And then we have a fourth cable right here that goes to my SD card reader that is just next to the Govi LED light controller, which controls the LED light strip at the back of my table here. We also have two charging devices, but we'll get to those a little bit later. So yeah, those are those four USB cables. We have the newly mounted four socket power extension cord as well that powers the whole setup. And over here, we have two more sets of J channels. This one here just houses power cables for my PC, as well as this power strip right here. And right above it, we have another J channel kit. This one has no power cables whatsoever. Instead, there are three display cables running all through here. And then of course, these go out into the monitor, as you can see up there. And then we have one USB device, actually no, two USB devices, one of the USB devices go to the Razer monitor, the Type-C cable, and then another one goes to my mouse charger, which is right here. All of the monitors, by the way, are plugged into this smart plug alongside the GoV LED light strip behind the desk. That is also powered by the smart plug. Each one of these outlets can be controlled individually through Apple HomeKit or, you know, Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, any of those can control each one of these individually, including all four of the USB ports, but this works as a group. You don't have individual USB control, just the whole USB section either on or off. Now, because there are so many cables all in one area here, just below the Razer Raptor monitor, I've gone ahead and actually cable tied them to the table leg itself. So I've just used these cable management products here, wrapped a cable tie through them. I'll leave everything in the description down below to, in case you wanna go pick the same cable management bits up. This probably isn't even necessary. I just didn't want any of these cables dangling whatsoever. So I, I went ahead and cable tied it just to add a little bit more structural support to all of them cables there. Anyway, as we continue moving along this portion of the table and the cable management going on here, this black cable here, which goes into the same J channel where the Razer power brick cable goes as well, that is plugged into the main power source all the way there. And this is simply a USB charging hub. And you might notice these are my own tech block chargers that I've been testing out for maybe over a year now. They're still nowhere near ready to be sold, unfortunately. I might open up like a beta testing program sometime in the future to gather like more user feedback on these chargers. But for the moment, these are how they're looking like. They're Velcroed to the bottom of the table. The main reason I actually have them here is to charge my wireless headsets. So we can just attach that via a magnet onto the headset. The headset will begin charging. And then whenever we're done charging it, we can just unattach the magnet, pull on this a little bit, the cable will go back into place nearly every single time. Still a work in progress product, but we'll, we'll get there eventually and we'll make them really high quality. But for now, still testing them out. But yeah, that's kind of the whole idea, you know, magnetic chargers for any device, not just headsets. I use these to charge my microphones every single day pretty much. It's very, very handy having everything magnetized. But yeah, that's honestly pretty much most of the cable management underneath. We have one more cable that actually goes through here into the LED light strip itself. Then we have the monitor arms attached to the table right here. They don't interfere with the J channels too much. If you're planning on using monitor arms or you're using them already, leave a bit of a gap so you can actually mount your monitors to your table. 
Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully today's video has helped you figure out how to cable manage your setup just a little bit better. It's given you some ideas on the route that you should approach cable management in general. Hopefully where to put like your cable tidy box and make sure your setup is as clean as physically possible. Would highly recommend these J channels. Just make sure you pair them with some Velcro else you're gonna have a very hard time adjusting the J channels which when I was redoing my cable management underneath this table, there were many, many times I had to just move the J channels just a little bit to the left or to the right. And if I had used the pre-applied tape, I'm never moving them again, unless I want to break the J channels. So yeah, use the Velcro, use it for your power strips, the J channels, whatever else you need to stick underneath your table as well. This Velcro is like the new duct tape. You can use it for anything, mate. It's really good. I'll try to leave every bit of cable management equipment that I showed in today's video in the description for you guys so you can pick whatever products you want and that you think you're going to use for your own cable management job. And honestly, you don't need most of this stuff. You just need the J channels, maybe some Velcro cable ties, and you'll be well on your way to having incredible cable management.